deck profile coming up, just as I promised. Starting off with one, two, three Robina. One, two, three Eglin. One, two Ken. One, three. One, two, three Empen. The reason I'm playing three, you will see in a minute. Uh, onto the spells, we have one, two, three Avenger. Three maps. One continue spell and one trap card. This is my flu engine. This is what we play for flu. Onto the non engine cards, we have one avian, one monarch. And that's probably the best card in the deck, but uh, one, two, three shifter, which is very nice. Onto the spells, we have uh, three prosperity. Rutger, thank you for lending me this because I'm a poor little boy and I cannot afford this on my own. So thank you. Uh, three duality. I can actually afford those. <laughs> those are mine. Uh, one terraforming. And two harpies featherstorm. And this is like the gen generic stuff. Onto the non generic stuff and, and the little spice in this deck. We play one two three small worlds and here it comes one two berry stage of water and one two fossil dinas yes i know it's very disgusting but it's actually very funny i think it's a very fun gimmick to play this because um this is also the reason why i'm playing three ampen because uh ampen actually if you start like with 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 the uh, ampen and and the small world you have a bridge for uh, Robina. This, those two cards, as example, maybe you break like, you can unbreak your hand with Robina. Also, fun thing with Small World and Robina is, uh, what you can do with this with this deck is like, oh, you start off with Robina, you go a uh, normal Robina, full combo, whatever, and uh, you end on like uh, M Pen, etc., etc. And then you loop this back to your hand, and then you go, oh yeah, also, Small World effect, uh, manage Robina. Manage the manage the Waterberry statue, and you have a fossil Dyna because those two are both water, and this is a level four for the Waterberry statue. So, Robina Small World is actually kind of funny because it's always a fossil Dyna with the Waterberry statue. Nice kind of gimmick, gimmick tech. It, uh, Going second obviously doesn't do anything, but but I mean deck is built on heavily going first, and I think it's like very fun to play. So uh, yeah, this is the main deck. Main deck is 40 cards. Uh, that's also the reason why we're playing three M pen because uh, there is a chance you may banish the M pen with small worlds, so you cannot use it anymore. Uh, it actually came in uh, came on clutch like a few times with small world, where you just unbreak your hand with M pen and just go. Uh, yeah, normal so we go ham, I guess. Onto the extra deck. Um, if you're playing flu, the extra deck doesn't matter that much, but I still think it's like kind of important to have. So onto the extra deck, we have um, three Kiki Gashi, three Lyrilisk, one Super Dora, uh, two Gustav Max, one Lieber, Downard Zeus. Anima, Cerberus, and Phoenix. I mean, except for the Zeus, uh, the Anima and Phoenix actually can help you win some games, I think. Uh, I've had a few matches where like uh, the peep, the opponent ends on a uh, Bagushka pass and he makes a Bagushka like over here. Like I show it like this. He makes like over here and 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 he says pass, and that's only Bagush for pass, and there's nothing much I can do. So the thing I can do is like, okay, uh, normal summon any level 1 monster, no effect. And just make uh, Anima over here, and take over his Bagushka and just go ham. Because uh, that happens sometimes. You know the Phoenix can also come and clutch sometimes, because uh, cards like that can only be one Kuxu over with, if you can only control like one uh, wing, uh, one type of each card. I don't know, I did something like normal summon monster, no effect. Uh, make anima and then use field spell to normal summon another uh, another level one and then just like link those 
two off for for nightmare phoenix effect phoenix pop the that can only be one i guess it's it's very like situational but it can happen and and if your hand is good enough that you can do it like it can work but honestly nine out of ten times it doesn't work so it doesn't matter most of the, most of the cards are just like for uh, prosperity material like very obviously on to the side deck we have uh one two three dark ruler one two three evenly because the cards are good one two three on spell uh yeah i mean decks like yeah maybe sky striker or or uh runic is getting uh some play so i think these cards can be good against uh, those decks uh, three ash because uh, activate brand of future and you go no and then scoop and uh, you win two triple tactic tennis i don't know about if i'm going to play these cards because uh maybe i'll switch them out it's like the only two cards i don't like in the deck uh just yeah i probably switch them out and uh the last rp sphere storm because the third one is in the side deck this deck i went x3 at locals Am I going to play Duros? I don't know yet. Um, maybe I'll play. Maybe I'll play Flu. But I was thinking of playing um, Dinos. If I can get my hands on on three Grand Zenos, I maybe uh, I'll probably play Dinos. But I don't know if I can get my hands to. I don't want to buy them yet because they're like thirty euros. Uh, yeah, each. It's kind of expensive for me at the moment because I am going on holiday soon as well. So I want to kind of save up for that. Uh, yeah, this is the deck I went X3, X1 with. Um, yeah, I mean, this is it. Hope you guys watched. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the first time I'm doing something like this, like recording my own deck profile. So, I hope you guys can bear with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.